Not dealing with you again. I'm going to see if I can, yes, turn all cards gold, even the terrible ones. I keep trying, but it keeps failing. Okay, we're dealing with a regular melting remnant, which I mean the dregs are at least sacrificial lambs. And we have crystalline seed for frostbite, which, like, none of these are horrible. We're dealing with spell shield fell. Uh, I don't want to deal with spell shield fell. Revenge frostbite. But you have 15 freaking health! Well, it applies it to all enemy units, so it's not that horrible, but the only one that works is Titan Channel. And my spells are terrible for Titan Channel. I'm sorry, I was just lay lying back. I'm. This is causing me pain and suffering. The only one you can take is Solgar the Martyr. And we are literally given the exact same artifact choice. Okay, so the one that you always take is Forever Flame. You never take the other one for energy gain. Even with the dregs that technically nets positive on energy, it's just not worth it. We need to draft units, so I'll deal with the plus four attack. Sorry, I keep dropping something in the background because I can't stop playing with things that just are on my desk. Do 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 Soul Guard the Martyr. Dreg. Draft. Foregone power to freeze. Ah, yes. Well, I can drop everyone else elsewhere, so that's not a huge issue. All y'all can just go down here, I guess. And he'll pop out next turn, so that's fine. I didn't kill the collector. I'm stupid. Well, I am. I'm just getting tilted at this point. I, I come up with my plans, but I'm just not paying attention to them. Uh, you can tank for Soul Guard, I guess. Uh, this dreg can go be here for two turns, and we'll free you from your frozen torment. Well, your soul is soul guards. Heard it here first, folks. Uh, I uh, no, I don't want spell weakness. No, I don't want mollusk. Why does magic power not boost frostbite? Why? Frostbite has numbers. Make numbers go bigger. Make numbers go burr. Make frostbite great again. Do I take Titan's gratitude? No, I think I actually just take nothing from here because they're just all bad cards. I'll take Molded. Because Molded, I can at least bring these guys back to Sacrifice. Alright, sure, Wickless Tycoon. We're going to play Economy. And if we're playing economy, we're going to buff the Wickless Tycoon as much as we can. Do I need spells? Yes, I kind of do need spells. I should upgrade what I currently got. And I also need to look through the Stygian banner because there's... I'll take the Lodestone Totem. You're, you're kind of speaking some of my language. Plus 20 magic power, plus consume. Molded is going to cost nothing, and we are deleting a train steward. You know what? Enjoy. We'll make one of these two Helio Crystals consume in the deck and give it a huge power spike. Sure. We're doing a harvest setup, and a harvest setup works exceedingly well if we can get a Wickless Tycoon with some protection.
Hmm. I can... They're not gonna survive, though, because sap is only minus two. It will burn through. We can frostbite one. But I want to cast these on the bottom floor, but I need one more space for that. Ugh. You'll die. You'll all be on the top floor, but I don't have a sweeper. God, that's awful. All right. So we're just going to make it work this way. I want to use the lodestone totem, but this is the only way it can be used. your haste. Reduce your speed. Also, Jesus Christ. They're all going to be one attack, and they're all going to be wiped out in one fell swoop. It's just still really annoying. You know what? Take these as sacrificial lambs. I don't want them. I don't know why I didn't keep them for discard fodder so I could try to cast more spells. I am the dumbest person I know. I have been drinking the idiot juice. I have been committing the sacrament and sacrilege against the brain. Frostbite. Sure, take the draft. He'll die instantly. Make me money. Oh, thank goodness. We can't cast everything. Uh, it's not okay. It's never okay. It'll never be fine. I'm just gonna sit here in perpetual misery and torment. Oh, he's gonna... We- I think we die. I think we just die now. Just because I legitimately had no way of dealing with any of this. Because everything was drawn in a terrible order, and I played everything in a terrible order. Okay, we lived. Please, just give me the card draw spell. What is wrong with you? You literally just need to give me the card draw spell, and I'd be fine. Or not... Yes, card draw spell. It's a spell, don't you know? It's against Daedalus. Daedalus is the weakest of the bunch. What version of Daedalus... Can I see what version of Daedalus it is? I cannot see what version of uh, Daedalus this is. Nope. I can't. I want to go left, but I have to go right. I need to dig for lodestone. Nope. Or upgrade my spells so they aren't terrible. For example, I can give this thing a holdover, which is precisely what it needs. Uh, reduce the cost of a spell. Congratulations, you're getting reduced by one. We're going to reroll and hope and pray. And we're going to reduce this to a zero cost spell so I can actually use it with some regularity. I will pay you all my money to help- oh, hello. I want to get something decent. I just upgraded it, but I can also reduce the amount of cards that are in my deck. It's one of my best spells, but I need to do something risky because I know I'm going to lose this in the long run if I just take short-term gain. What about units? Lodestone Totem isn't doing a whole lot right now, but it's not going to be very helpful. It needs to be alive, and we're not going up against someone with more conduits, because the conduits were messing with us on the previous fight. 
So, I'm going to give you one of my damage spells. I'm going to give you this. Purge it for now. Take it. And I hope to get something very good out of it later. Perhaps money, perhaps something else. I don't know. Just something that makes it so Daedalus does not destroy me completely and utterly. Well, constructed explosives enter with damage shield. I'm not being able, I'm not stopping that to begin with. We just have to be kind of smart. Bottom floor for thee. Top floor for me. I... I could put you both down there, yes. It'll block 90% of everything. And we'll just have all our units that are getting sacrificed go straight to the top. Bam. I need to play Forgone Power. Not playing you, because you would die. Step down here. Very perfect. I want to play this here. I guess it's fine if the train steward dies off. I need my deck to be thin. I need only spells. Come on, I need Soul Guard. I need two spells. Really? Really? You can't even do that for me. <sighs> Gods, you're annoying. Up there you go. You burn out. That's alright. Up here you go. Um, you just cast it and deal with it. Molded. Finally. Something decent, and by this point, it's already going to be too late. Um, I don't need to cast anything else down here. You can just kill the tank. Uh, you're dead. Can I sacrificial lamb something? Yes. This dreg can sacrificial lamb... A draft can sacrificial lamb harder. You'll absorb both hits. You're dead, so no damage goes up top. That's fine. I should freeze, freeze, freeze. Well, double freeze to make it so you're likely to die, because I need you to take as much damage before we get to the top. So many second floors. Mold it again. They haven't dropped dead yet. We'll put the draft up here. Oh wait. Consume Helia Crystals. Die. Alright. Well, you're dead. Um, I can place you up here. Which will pop all of you at the same time, which is a nice, nice, neat amount of gold in my pocket. I guess we can do a single turn of burnout. I made a joke about that, and apparently I was horribly mistaken. So yeah, you'll all die, unfortunately, and there's nothing I can do about it because I just don't have enough spells to cast. molded. You don't have your shards, because it doesn't apply the shards. I could do the lodestone totem. It would die instantly. What should I do? Burnout four? You would only take two hits. You would deal far more damage.
And this is going to be as many turns as I can give you, because you're going to miss the first one anyway. You're going to burn out. Really? We win. We'll be on 1 HP, but we win. Uh, only we could give our pyre quick. That would make a lot of pyre-based strategies better. I don't have energy. Wax and spike just isn't good. It really isn't good unless we can generate energy out the butt. Fine, we'll take Siren Song. It's a dangerous strategy, but I can try to pull something off. Do I really want to get another Wickless Tycoon? Is that what I'm going for here? Because I can, and I will. Oh, this is the Cleansing Seraph, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Cleansing Seraph. Um, I might just go for a second Wickless Tycoon, just drop it on the ground, and then just start spamming. See how many dead bodies we can pile up. Give me more Pyre space, because energy is not the problem. Uh, if I were to delete stuff, I'd be deleting train stewards. If I were to duplicate something, I would duplicate probably Crystalline Seed, because it's the most neutral spell I can play. Or Lodestone Totem, just to have two of them. If I were to go to the right, what would I be looking for? I genuinely don't know, so we're just going to go and make our deck better. You. Leave. You. Leave. Let's see what I get in the Dark Forge. It's the shard. Oh my gosh, get rid of the frostbite one. The frostbite one is not good. The frostbite one is not good. It will never be good. It will never be great. But I can't take Titan Channel because I don't have card draw and I will never cast enough spells. Fine. Just because I'm forced to. Is it a consume spell? No, it is not a consume spell. I could double... Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I could have just taken double mold and just keep casting them every single turn. I'm so dumb. I could have... Uh, ah, well. Oh, well. Um. Yeah, this is the best option of the bunch. I'm trying to get all gold champions. This champion is unfortunately, irrevocably garbage, but I will use him. They need to just cut 90% of his stuff, like his requirements, in half. Double the amount of stuff he gains. I mean, that would leave him like straight overpowered, yes, but you can't use him as a tank because revenge is pointless on him. Unless you get one of the totems, but all the totems are epics. Not anything that is actually usable. Is a random artifact worth the trouble? They gain spikes four, which defeats my entire pyre strategy, so no, we're just gonna fight. Get down here. Get up high. Burn out. Cast. Freeze. You die, that's all right. You're here. You're defending. You burn through. I can double cast. No, I can single cast, but that's enough to kill you. Why do you take eight? All right, revenge damage. And he applies revenge damage to everyone, okay. There's the Lodestone Totem, which kind of makes this strategy viable-ish. Um, I could place you here, you'll just burn out. I'm just going to Pyrebound you so you die horrifically. You die, that's okay. Up you go. 
You guys, no, you don't swing, so you don't gain any of the revenge damage. The anti-synergy is strong here. You can just slowly burn out. This was an unforeseen consequence. I need to cast spells, but if I cast... Sp well, this spell's fine to cast. They're taking damage anyway. But then they deal no damage when they get up here. Both of you can pop, that's alright. Um, yeah. Well, I need to keep casting it, so here's what we're doing. Well, in that case, I can just leave you here. Place you up top, so you'll be his replacement. Free for respite. I don't have Pyrebound, but I can just pop you and leave you the only survivor. And that's probably my best choice. Oh, now you die and you burn out. That's, that's fine then. Uh, we can put the burnout four in front to tank. And we can put some dregs out in front here to also do some tanking. You burn out, but that's kind of expected. Molded. You're gonna burn out. That's... At this point, that's alright. Uh, we can... I don't want to leave a train steward up there, because we're probably gonna put actually good stuff up, up top. You'll burn out on the same turn that we actually get the man. Fine, you can tank. Oh, wait. Suddenly that one application of sap leads to him dying horrifically. Oh, the frostbite. It does scale, I guess. I know what you're thinking, that's probably dumb. The answer is yes, it is probably dumb, but it's my dumb decision to make. I'm not gonna do Wicked Blaze. We don't need Reformation shenanigans either. What are you giving me for this? Restore two health to my pyre. I'll hold on to it for the next boss fight. I feel like I, like, that buff isn't going to be enough. Do I want to buff my magic spells? Yes is the answer. What would be the magic spell? Probably Siren Song and make that frozen. But I already have something that can make it frozen. If I were to buff my monsters, what would I buff? I'd probably start buffing the Wickless Tycoons. Get them set up to, you know, actually do something. Now let's see what's offered. Rail spikes. Rage and armor, burnout, or stygian. None of the spikes are particularly good. And I don't think taking them is worth my time. Are there any cards that I have that aren't already golden, basically? Why is Forgone Power golden? My champion is not golden. I have not won with this champion yet. 
Siren Song is definitely new. Yeah, okay, so we are taking some new stuff with us. I gotta check every once in a while. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Quick as a whistle. I'm going to take Quick on a Wickless Tycoon, because that is decent. In can't gain two armor. That's the protection I kind of want on the Lodestone Totem. Reroll. Multi-strike. You can get quick and multi-strike, but that's not good on you. Because I can't buff you any further. So what I'm going to do instead is put another stack of multi-strike on a draft. And I could apply burnout to something, but I don't know what I would apply it to. But what I do know is I'm going to purge this freaking train steward who is getting in the way. There we go. Well, I don't like Crystal Cloak Lady. Crystal Cloak Lady is awful. I hate Crystal Cloak Lady. I don't need the money because I'm going to get it from the Wickless Tycoons anyway. Hmm. You'll live, and best of all, you'll take zero? Wait, who dies? Oh, I frostbitten you. You're annoying. You're a nuisance. I can't stop you, though. There. Oh, you all die. Neat. Yeah, I can't stop you. I would love to stop the Collector. I can't. It's not possible. Wickless Tycoon is as quick as a whistle. I didn't know you'd kill him. Oh well. I can't prevent his demise. I can give it a shot, but it, it's not preventing anything. I kind of need my Pyrebound spell, like, now. Now would be good? Oh, thank you. But he's dead anyway. Uh, you'll burn out from the rear, but you can take a lot of damage. Uh, how am I doing this? I could put some more harm. Pyrebound, definitely. And freeze. He comes out healthy. I don't like the fact that he comes out healthy, but I can't avoid that either. How's Soulguard doing? Soulguard's doing all right. You're dead. That's exactly what I need. Um, I wish I could give some of these things frozen, but that's just not going to be the case. Oh my gosh, move. It's only frozen to a card in my hand. You can stay. I need you for later. Although, all things considered, there probably will not be a later. No, I'm trying to kill him. It's not forthcoming. All right, you. You. Um... Preserve is going to be applied to Pyre Song, because I want to keep that in case she gets up there. Although I don't think I can move the bosses. Putting you here defeats a little purpose, but I want you to take as much damage as possible. And the easiest way to do that is 
for me to just start casting spells without any regard for what I'm actually doing. Card cannot be played, but you're almost dead and the frost will still hit you. Both of you die. Do I need to cast anything else? No. So yeah, we'll make a little bit of extra gold off the top. I don't need another preserve. One is fine. A dead votary. And a lot of my troops are... No, no, because they made it so death doesn't count. I freaking hate the extinguished thing. No, 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 they changed how Gorge works. Ah, uh, do I want to do Memories of the Melted? If I do, is there a point? I would have energy out the wazoo, but I have nothing to spend it on. And this is the buffing Seraph. I could take a Votavari just to have it die for me. No, that's stupid. There's nothing here that is usable. Alright, sir, I will take whatever you insist upon giving me. Restore five health to my pyre every time I cast the spell. Thank you, good sir, for giving me something so magnanimous, so glorious, that I just can't say no. Hmm. If I were to delete cards, what would I delete? Uh, probably the Forgone Powers at this point, because I'm not discarding cards anymore. I do need them to keep casting spells, but I'm not discarding as much. I need to make my deck consistent, after all. So, first things first, get rid of a dre... Uh, yeah. So, get rid of a foregone power. And get rid of a drag. Merchant of Trinkets, what do you have available? That's harvest, not extinguish, right? Yes, so it's worthless. And if I re-roll, it's not going to give me anything, so I'm going to see what I can get from here. Um... This is new. It's adorable. Dog made of bone sits by a hell portal. It's bone tail rattling together against the stone in a jerking motion you suspect is nervous wagging. I would like to do a sound file for this, but I can't. You catch glimpses of a foreign world through the portal. It's a place not of this realm, but still equally hostile, and this bone dog seems eager to get as far away from it as possible. You wouldn't dare subject the dog to violence in battle, but showing some kindness is a reward in and of itself. As hellish as he is, bone dog isn't from this realm. The awoken channels have traced him to some unknown land ruled by one with no face. When we found him, we almost left him behind, but he's such a good boy. <sighs> I have to. I must take the doggo. Seems to be a good enough sign as any for the bone dog. It licks your face and jumps aboard the bone shaker to surely make quick friends with all the other monsters inside. So this is the last card. I've never seen this event. I didn't even know it existed. All hail doggo. I don't need extinguished abilities. If I re-roll, I surely will not be able to afford any of the other trinkets. Uh, at the end of turn, apply frozen to a random card in hand. I do need things to just cast sometimes. No, most things I cast are... I usually empty my entire hand, so I'm going to take the sigiled seaweed to just silence my enemies. Alright, fell. We're going to try. 
It's fell with spell shield. And empowering with armor, which I think is worse than rage. Soul guard. The tycoon can be up here. Um, I want to put down the lodestone, but I don't think that's going to do anything, basically. Wow. Uh, you know what? No. It's a case of why don't I do that. I'm not going to discard it. I'm just going to hold on to this. Ah, oh, sweet. He's been silenced. Oh, no. You've been given protection. I hate you. Bone Dog. He's here. He's the goodest boy. All right, this Harvest Tycoon, we can just start dumping things directly in their way. I want to play the Lodestone Totem, but now's not the time for it. Yip, yip. Excuse me. Hmm. I could just play these and kill them all. Will that kill the Alabaster Guardian? I think you're immobile. Yes, you can't be moved. Okay, that's fine. Let's play you and kill them all off. Uh, we'll start putting the draft down. You do hit hard-ish, but not so bad that I can't do anything about it. We're going to replay the draft down here. Or I should say up here instead. And now you only take one damage, but that's just one point of armor damage, so that's fine. Oh yeah, you're the one with the triple multi-strike. I forgot I had you. Yeah, you're important to die. Okay, really? Look, you're being a bit of a jerk. Okay? Um, I need damage. And you're kind of the way to do it. I should use the Helia Crystals, but I'm going to use them here. To try to crack you first. Wait, that kills all of you? Wait, how? Oh, you burn out. Okay. Well, that's convenient. I wish I could get rid of you. Wait, am I dead? I might be. I didn't count. But I didn't have any way to prevent it. I couldn't get through the Alabaster Guardians fast enough, courtesy of Fell. I think I actually am dead. Oh no, I'm alive. Barely. I need Doggo or the other spell to save me. Let's put you back up. And summon you. Uh, the good multi-striker will stay on the second floor. We're going to put this drag back up there to try to clear, get the crystalline silence, and kill off the overcharged tank. Thank goodness. I don't know what my next card is. Okay, it's the good Helia Crystals. I wanted to get through the spell shield, but they weren't letting me. Well, we got Bone Dog, we got extra health. They don't have Sap, and I can't do anything about them because I'm not getting the one card I still need. <sighs> because things are frozen, I can't do anything about this. I can't play Forgone Power. That's that's fine. Put good multi-striking draft down here. Helia crystals to pop, and we'll just let it happen. Wait, is it on? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Was that on Slay only? I think it was. Reserve. Okay, I needed to hold on to it for health. But it wasn't going to matter because I wasn't going to kill them anyway. Uh, 
Dog found her unsuccessful. We now know Dog exists. Dog isn't very good. Quite frankly, he's terrible. And I couldn't hold on to the pyre thing because I needed to get my sap going so I could, you know, soul guard lives. Eh, that actually was a bad reason. I pr what probably should have happened there is I probably should have just held on to Frozen for the pyre song and then held on to pyre song for emergencies like that, but... Oh well. As usual, we look at this and say, new run.